For what purpose does the gentleman from Ohio seek recognition? Without objection, the gentle, uh, gentleman is recognized for one minute. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, for more than 40 years, American taxpayers have been protected from paying for abortions on demand with their tax dollars. Alarmingly, President Biden's budget proposal calls for the Hyde Amendment to be removed. This radical and moral policy makes it legal for taxpayer dollars to support and enable the abortion industry. Nearly 60 percent of Americans agree that taxpayer dollars should not be used to fund abortion. This is not a partisan issue. One of the most basic ways we can protect innocent life is ensuring that taxpayer money is not being used to fund abortions. As a defender of the unborn, I do not support the removal of the Hyde Amendment. I oppose all efforts to mandate taxpayer funding for abortion. With that being said, Mr. Speaker, I ask unanimous consent that the Committees on Energy and Commerce, Ways and Means and Judiciary be discharged from further consideration of H.R. 18 and ask for its immediate consideration in the House. Mr. Speaker, I yield back. Under guidelines consistently issued by successive speakers, as recorded in Section 956 of the House Rules and Manual, the chair is constrained not to entertain the request unless it has been cleared by the bipartisan floor and committee leaderships.